Hello everyone. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and I hope you all have a lovely new year. Let's start with that one. Um, I'm on today because I went on a bit of a trip yesterday with my dad. Um, we went to Hobbycraft and another local craft store called Jim's Cash and Carry. Well, it's not, it's not a craft store, but they sell craft stuff. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly jump on and show you what I bought. I'm also filming a what I got for Christmas video. Um, and that will be up shortly as well. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. I have everything on the floor because I have a different system of everything now. Um, which is nice. But I shall start with... I shall just pull it up um, as we go. Oops. So the first couple of bits I got from Hobbycraft, I picked up a pack of these Hobbycraft Iridescent Gems. Now, I think they're really, really shiny, and they're kind of... They're like the sparkly gems with glitter underneath, but they are so pretty. And there's 224 in here. I can't quite remember all the prices, and my dad has the receipt, so I can't really tell you. <coughs> and please excuse me coughing every now and again, as I have a cold again. Um... But yeah, so I got some of these iridescent gems. I also picked up some of the oops um, reduced stuff from the Christmas collection. So I picked up these glittered sort of wooden buttons. Um, obviously, the glitter is clearly um, loose. So, as there's loads of fallout in the bottom, but I'm not too worried. They're just to make sort of paper clips and stuff with, but they were only a pound. I also picked up two of the Hobbycraft sticker books. When I seen these come out, I thought, hmm, three pounds is a little bit expensive. Um, then I noticed online they went down to a pound. I wasn't sure if that's going to, was going to be in store as well. Um... But thankfully it was. And you have three sheets of each. Uh, no, two sheets of three designs. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, so I got this Shoot for the Stars one. And this, the two first pages have sort of a holographic silver foiling. And they are just absolutely stunning. Oh no, it's three sheets of each one. Then we have this one, and then lastly, this one, and I absolutely love them. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use them in journaling or my planner or whatnot, but I thought they were absolutely brilliant. And for a pound, you can't go wrong. I also picked up this Botanical Beauty one. I do wish I had got two of this one. So we have this one. It's very much butterflies, flowers, little ladybugs, and yeah, I love it. Some of the stickers um, aren't actually cut out, or they're like on the background paper, so I will just punch those out myself. Then we have this page here, and as you can see, this little ladybug isn't actually punched out, so I shall do that on myself. And then we have this one with some gold foiling. I'm hoping you guys can see that. Yeah, I think so. Um... And yeah, I think these are absolutely beautiful. And again, I wish I'd picked up two of this one, but silly old me did not. But never mind. Um, I then picked up some journaling stuff. I picked up four because they were on offer for two for two pounds, I think they are. Um, and it's just a journaling card and stickers. So we've got some three by fours, some four by sixes, and then I think it's one sheet of stickers. I'm not sure. Let's open it. Ugh. So... These are the journaling cards we have. They are double-sided as well. Oh, I didn't know that. So we have this top five. And then a pink polka dot with a love heart on the back. A speech bubble with the best on the back. Make today amazing with these washi stripes on a grid pattern. Here's the story with some dots. You are my favourite. And then today this happened. Uh, a great day and then a blank journaling box. I have no idea if any of that was in shot, which is silly because I'm holding it over here. 
and I'm pretty sure it's not in shot if it's over there. So that's a bit stupid of me, but never mind. Um, I'm still getting used to filming from above. It, it is a bit different. Then we have some 4x6s. I don't do Project Life, but I thought I could just um, use the journaling cards, literally for journaling, um, and just chuck them in my planner or whatever. I thought it would be a really good idea. This is why I think you're the best. This is the first 6x4 with, again, that dot pattern on the back. Um, that would be really good for a card. Uh, then we have this one, What I Love About You, with some more polka dots. Uh, it's the little things with the chevron pattern. The Good Life, I really like that. There was a TV programme I used to watch when I was a kid that was called The Good Life. It was about... Um, a common farmer couple and then a really posh couple live next to them it was amazing i loved it um then we have this speech bubble with today was and then this sort of banner with a chevron pattern a day in the life with pink polka dots here's the story with this pattern on the back that's really good that's a lot of journaling cards and i have four of them oh well um, and then we have, is it just one sheet of stickers? Yeah, it's just the one sheet of stickers. They're really thick. They are good quality stickers. Um, so we've got some love to do, remember, smile, love, and the good stuff. And then some flags, some um, symbolic ones, and some banners and speech bubbles. That's really, really good pack for, I think they're 150 if you buy them singly, but for a pound because that's how i bought them that's an incredible deal so that's the first one i bought that i don't think they have names i'm pretty sure they don't uh no they are by hampton art though um but yeah they don't have names unfortunately so then i picked up this love you one and again it's got the three by fours the four by sixes and then some more stickers um which i kind of bought the stickers because they're quite planner-esque stickers i'm sorry for the glare um and i just thought mm, they'll go really well in my planner and i can always use the journaling cards um then we have this one with this is the life every day make every day awesome and then these are different kind of planner stickers i like the tabs and number one top ten top five things like that because I'm very much into um, documenting things in my planner now. That's become a thing. And then the last one is this one, which the first card says, Make Today Amazing. Um, this one's really cool. Um, makes me think of the Paper Mania capsule collection. Oh, that's pretty. And then we have these stickers here. Live, yes, smile, life, hope. Sweet, love, hello, kind, dear. Um... And yeah, I quite, I really like those stickers. And I'm now I know how um, good quality they are. I might have to pick up doubles of all of those because they are really, really awesome. Okay, I might have to get out of my chair. And I really don't want to. Never mind. Let's just crack on. I then picked up one of the rolls of paper in this pattern. It's far too big for me to fit in shot. It's huge. I would say it's easily A1, I think. Um, but I bought this to make a junk journal with. I'm going to use this for the cover. Or maybe a writing journal, I'm thinking, because it's just so beautiful. Um, that one was £1.50. I'm just going to roll that one back up because I'm never going to be able to keep that one on my desk while I'm filming. Because I will just knock it off. Um, and now it's fallen over, never mind. Uh, then I have some uh, pearls. I got these in the wedding section. They were originally £4 down to 2 This is the classic romance. In the store I was in, all of their classic romance stuff was on half price. Um, so, And I did have a quick look because I am actually going to be getting married. Um, my boyfriend proposed on Christmas Eve, so yeah, I thought while I was there I'd have a quick look because let's face it, I'm going to make everything for my wedding. But there is, back to what we're talking about now, 
uh, they're four millimeter adhesive pearls and there's 1530 and there's sort of a quick look at some of the stuff they do create your own romantic wedding stationery with a beautiful classic romance collection embellish and coordinate with other products in the range so i thought that was a really good deal and there's two sets in there which is really good because i go through pearls like no one's business i then picked up this embossing folder um i only have one one embossing folder or two one um, and I just really like the pattern of this one. There was another one that was sort of lacy that I quite liked, but I picked this one first. And these were also on half price. Um, I think this was £2, I want to say. But yeah, I absolutely love it. So I got that one. I then picked up um, a Hobbycraft glitter glue um, in the iridescent colour. Just because I do have some of the single pen glitter glues and this is the one that ran out first because I just love iridescent. I absolutely freaking love it. Uh, that one was a pound, I think. I then picked up the... Oh, I can't see because I've not got my glasses on. Silver and white twine. Um, I believe this was from Winter Wonderland. It was in the clearance section, so I grabbed that because you can never have enough baker's twine in my opinion. And then I also grabbed a Sakura, Sakura Jelly Roll pen in white, just because I've seen rave reviews about them, and you can't have enough white gel pens. Because um, my our journey scrapbook for me and my boyfriend, the paper is black, so white gel pens are very handy. Um, I then picked up a couple of paper bits, so I grabbed this Hobbycraft Delicate Rose paper pad, it's the 6x6, it's a premium paper pad, and let's do a quick flick through, it's very vintagey, floral, um, I absolutely love it, I, this is my favourite page without a doubt, um, and yeah, I just think it's so elegant. I can still do it. I forget that I can do it from that way. I don't have to keep turning it around. Um, so it's just a lot of um, simple pastel colours. Like that one. I freaking love it. Um, and this was only £5. So I think that's pretty good for a 6x6 paper pad that's quite thick. And you have these solid rose gold pages, which I will probably hoard for a while. <coughs> Oh, sorry. This cough is really, really annoying. Um, but yeah, and this contains 48 sheets in 12 designs. It's acid-free and it's 180 GSM. That, I did think it was quite thick paper. Well, cardstock. Um, and it's 6x6, six six, which is 15.2 centimetres. So dead chuffed. Dead chuffed with that one. Um, I also picked up a new planner because as it being nearly January I thought I'd better add now when I bought this home I wasn't sure if this is supposed to be a sort of pregnancy baby planner I'm definitely not pregnant we definitely have no children but I just really liked the design of it um, this was my planner for this year which is the impressionist planner and i absolutely loved this i was so happy with it so i was like i want another one of these ones but i didn't want the same one as this one so i went with this one but then when i got it home and actually looked at it i was like oh but i don't care it's still undated there's nothing to do with pregnancy in it i have checked and i just love the color scheme so this will be my 2019 planner the only thing that is different apart from obviously the design from my other planner is the rings, the spiral bound on this one is gold. Um, and this contains one planner with acetate cover, 12 dividers, 12 monthly planning sections, two sticker sheets and one pocket. Um, and each section includes one ideas page, one month to view page, five times week to view. So I do often cut them out when there's too many weeks in one month. Uh, one to do page and one notes page 
so yeah i absolutely freaking love these planners um for 12 pound you cannot go wrong i think they are stunning and um, yeah so that is my 2019 planner i then have to get up now <laughs> which isn't great um bought a couple of bits from the old paper section um so I picked up, oops, that's not supposed to be in there either. For paper pads, I picked up the Hobbycraft Glitter Galore because I realised how much glitter cardstock I go through. So it's 32 sheets in eight colours, acid-free, 180 GSM. And I mean, I know this has been hauled the hell out of, but we've got this uh, chocolatey brown glitter card, this lime green which I'm thinking Easter um, and sort of St. Patrick's Day kind of stuff. This beautiful red. I absolutely love the shade of red. Uh, purple. Another green. This fluorescent, very, very fluorescent neon pink, which will probably be the first one that I use. Uh, gold or well, yellowy gold. Blue. And blue is the last colour. But for £10, you cannot go wrong for that amount. I mean, I'm going to have scraps galore coming off of this. Um, which will all go into my scraps box. Which is perfect. So, really good buy for £10. And then, for another £10, this Vintage Botanical Premium Paper Pad. Now, this, again, I mean, you can see the designs on the back. I'm obviously going to cut out the back page. Um, this beautiful paper pad is perfect addition to creative craft projects. It contains 36 sheets and 12 designs, acid-free and 180 GSM. Now, I love the Hobbycraft paper pads. See, look at that purple floral. And this one is just so different to any that I've seen. Oh, I am caught on the wire. Um, like, this is a beautiful cut-out, cut-apart page. And you get three of each design and everyone knows my love of butterflies i mean look at that that on the cover of a notebook or as a planner dashboard oh the possibilities are endless so yeah and i like um how they've put some wording in there about the flower it just blew my mind when i seen it i was like i have to have this one like these butterflies just love them and I think it's just a colour palette that isn't very used, which I really, really like as well. Like, there's colours in this that I've not seen in other paper pads. And, oh, how beautiful is that? So, that was also £10. I then picked out some single sheets. So, I picked out this one. This one wasn't on sale. Uh, this is Maggie Holmes Flourish. And it's sort of the tickets and that kind of stuff to cut apart. And then this wood grain on the back. Should have bought two. Didn't. Stupid idea. But never mind. That's to cut the tickets apart. I then picked up two of the same from Maggie Holmes Carousel. Which is this cut apart. Not because I like the back. But because I want to be able to cut both of them apart. Because I will use one pardon me, in my junk journal. And one for scrapbooking, that kind of thing. Um, because this year, myself, my partner and my cousins went to a circus. Um, so I thought this would be a really, really cool um, cut apart to use on that scrapbook layout. But I also wanted some for uh, junk journaling. Um, a little bit annoyed that they stuck the sticker to the paper. But as you can see, these were 25p. The next two were also 25p and are also both from Carousel. So we've got this Hot Air Balloons one with this black and white heart print on the back. Kind of not sure which one I would prefer. And I could only see one of these in my store. Um, so I might have to cut it into 6 by 12 just so I get both sides. And again, 25 pence. I then got this carousel cut apart, um, again 25 pence, I absolutely love these, this 
so perfect um, and then it's got this pattern on the back which again I probably will not use um, I'm definitely gonna use it for the cutter parts I th oh and I also picked up this now I have taken the sticker off this one it was only a pound it's from Jen Hadfield it's the to-do list stamp um, and I thought for my planner that saves me drawing it all out <laughs> just a lazy approach but for a pound I couldn't leave it there um, so that was everything from Hobbycraft I think I'm just writing through no it wasn't um, I also picked up these snow cool tassels from, from the clearance section for a pound because I thought, nah, they're tassels. They don't say Christmas or anything on them. So I can use them all year round. And you get a red, green, yellow and white. So I'm going to make some planner charms out of those. Now the rest of the stuff is from Jim's Cash and Carry. So first is a bit of a boring buy. It's just another A3 cutting mat because mine's starting to get a bit old. Um, which was £3. And I also found an A5. Now I thought this would be perfect for when I'm doing things that I don't need my big cutting mat for. Um, and this was, I have no idea because I just don't know. I think it was about a pound fifty, maybe less. Um, so yeah, I got myself two cutting mats. I didn't pay for any of this, hence why I don't know the prices of anything. Um, I also picked up some card blanks in craft there is 50 in here they're 15 by 15 centimeters so roughly six by six and i don't have a clue how much they were because i didn't pay for it i then picked up these two wooden shapes um this one is a four leaf clover and then some butterflies i thought they would look really cool on my wall so i'm going to alter those and then lastly I picked up some crafting hang tags so I got this design these I know were a pound so I got this one with the birds they're quite vintage all of them this one with the world map on them and then this one with the florals and the butterflies so that is everything from my blah, 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 from my day out with my dad um, which was an amazing, amazing day out. It was just me and him, so it was really, really nice. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm sorry it was a bit of a babbly one and I had to keep getting up and moving. But please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please like my video because it helps me. And I will see you guys soon with my What I Got For Christmas uh, haul. What I Got For Christmas video. Whichever. Um, so thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.